Now, the right age, if there is one, to leave children at home without a parent is one on which many people won't agree. But with the summer holidays stretching far ahead, it's often a decision many parents feel that they have to make. And the NSPCC are wading into this debate because it says that it gets nearly 2,500 calls from people, this is adults, concerned about children who they've seen they think have been left at home alone each year. And an ITV News poll has found that over half of you think that a 10-year-old should not be left alone at any time 61 percent of you said that children should be that the children should be a set age uh, before parents can leave them on their own there isn't a set age at the moment uh, and 49 percent of you said that you would actually be very happy to report a parent if you thought they had left their child at home alone for too long well, mum of two and parenting author Tanith Carey joins us now. Good morning to you. Hello. So you've got two children then. What ages are they and, and how do you kind of come to terms with, with making that decision about when it's OK to leave them at home on their own? Well, I've got Lily, who's 13, and I've got Cleo, who's 10. And I would leave Lily at home alone, but I wouldn't leave Cleo. And why is that then? Because Lily is at secondary school. She's had to sort of develop a certain amount of independence and responsibility. She's grown up a lot in the last uh, couple of years. You know, she's at the stage where she'll do her homework on her own. She doesn't take unnecessary risks. Um, you know, she, she knows some first aid. And I, I just feel she has a general sense of, of what's... Of what's what's appropriate and what isn't appropriate. Mm. And that's where parenting really comes to its forefront, isn't it? You know your own children. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you think, do you agree with some of those people who, are in the ITV News poll, said actually we feel that there should be a set age, you know, you must not leave your child alone if they are under 12, mm -hmm. for example, mm -hmm. or, or do you think that's just nannying by the state? I think uh, guidance for parents is always a good thing because I think there's a lot of indecision out there which creates a lot of confusion. Um, so I think I like the NSPC's approach actually because they're sort of saying 12-ish is about right but it does depend on the maturity of the child. And it also sort of depends on how you talk to your children about being left alone. Because mm -hmm. I remember, I was thinking about this, I remember being about eight and my dad was going on shift my mum hadn't quite got back from her shift, and so there was... I remember him just leaving, and I remember seeing his outline in the door, and I just burst into tears. I'd Aww. never been at home on my own before. Mm -hmm. And he came back in and was like, I've got to go. Mm -hmm. And I was fine, you know, I've not been damaged by it. I'm absolutely <laughs> fine. But I just wonder whether, actually, there should be some guidelines about, here's a neighbour's number, Here, yeah. you know, all these little things, you what know, this is what to do. Because, absolutely. actually, there isn't a guideline about that, is there? We don't really know. No. I think what's important, I mean, with Cleo, for example, I'm starting to train her. Oh, yeah. So I'm starting to kind of put her in the position where, you know, I, what would she do if somebody came to the door? Yes. You know, uh, what would she do if there was a fire? So it's just a very gradual learning curve that we put our kids through. Do you think things are different now? I mean, I've got viewers getting in touch about this on Twitter this morning. Lee is one of them. He says, I'm 41. It was so different back in the early 80s. I was at home alone at nine. Mm. Do you think, you know, we've all gone through the stage where maybe we were left at home at a younger age, but now that's not considered quite as acceptable? Yeah, I think socially it has become a bit less acceptable. There is more perception of, of more danger. We know more about the world. I mean, whether or not those, those dangers are real. I mean, I think we just have to make sure that our children are not anxious. I think that's the main mm. thing, is how our children feel. But, I mean, from what the NSPCC have said, they, they, they had a sort of 2,500 calls, and the majority of the cases that they investigated were, like, 1,200 of them were about children between one and five who'd been left at home. And that, <laughs> I think, is a very different prospect, yeah. isn't it, yeah. to, you know, a, a busy parent over the summer holidays who says, listen, you're 12, I trust you, I'm going to go out. I mean, mm -hmm. we're talk, you know, you can't do a broad brush stroke over parents and children's ages, can you? I think that's quite mm -hmm. a difficult and dangerous thing to do, almost. Mm. Yeah, I mean, as I wouldn't leave a child under 10, really, actually, to be honest, but I would, uh, I think anything under five or six, you know. Well, also, no, I mean, we agreed. Yeah, I think <laughs> everybody agrees that's a very bad yeah. idea. Yeah. yeah, a very bad idea. 